Hey kids, welcome back to Plantation Bay. It has been, uh, I don't know, like two and a half weeks or something since I made a, a Plantation Bay uh, video. And I do apologize for that. Uh, there's a couple reasons. First of all, uh, I have been working on this Hearts of Iron 3 tutorial series. You'll probably have seen a few of those videos come out. Uh, maybe not all you guys play that game, but uh, it's a very complicated game, and I, I almost bit off a little more than I could chew. I'm still working on the series, but it, it, it just it takes a long time to make those episodes, and I kind of got my head in that space, and it was hard to keep going with these. Uh, other other series. So there's that. Uh, also, as uh, some of you may know, I live in Canada, and it is the middle of the summer right now in Canada, and we don't have that long of a summer, so I have been making a little bit, you know, fewer videos. I haven't really been observing a schedule for videos. You know, it, we have a short summer here. I, I'm trying to get out of the house a bit, so there's also that. Um, but yeah, so I'm back. I'm back uh, doing Plantation Bay. Uh, however, <laughs> and this is going to seem like sort of a lot of bad news at once or something, uh, this series, this is going to be the last Plantation Bay uh, video in this series. And it's not that I'm totally done with, um, with this city or anything like that, but the network add-on mod 37 is now on a stable release. And there's two things I want to do. I want to do a video where, like, I have not yet set up the uh, network add-on mod 37 on this machine. This is my main, you know, tower PC, gaming PC. Uh, and so I want to set it up, and I'm probably going to make a video while I do that because I keep getting questions from people like, oh, how do I, I'm having trouble setting up the network add-on mod, can you do a video on it? And I, I figure there's, like, no better opportunity to make that video when, than when I'm actually doing it myself. So, because I have set it up on my other computer, but there is a stable release of Network Out on Mod 37, and there's a number of changes that mean that it's not that Plantation Bay City will be like lost forever because of the mod change. It's just that it'll probably require a lot of really finicky, uh, you know, screwing around with uh, with um, uh, transportation networks and puzzle pieces and things like that. And some of some things in the city might be broken. So, so I will probably this will probably be the last Plantation Bay City episode at least for the foreseeable future. Uh, I'm going to be starting a new series uh, once I get the network out on Mod 37 running, and I'm going to be using a new set of mods. I've talked a bit about the realistic. Uh, I want to do a realistic um, residential. Uh, population mod and stuff like that. So I have there's a just there's, I want to change my mod setup. I want to get the new network out on mod, and so the best the best way for us to do that is to start on a new city. Uh, and I have some really cool ideas uh, about what kind of city I'd like to build, but uh, more on that later. So what are we gonna do uh, on this last episode? Well, we we hit one million population uh, recently, and so that was a good good milestone to hit for this city. Uh, and so I think that before I, I think I should develop Edgewater, or at least partly develop it. Um, so maybe let's start with that actually. Let's start by developing Edgewater. And uh, then what I want to do is I want to go into Plantation Bay City, and I will, I want to try and solve the, the, the demand problems that we were having in Plantation Bay City. So we'll see what we can do in terms of that. If I, uh, if I don't get done what I'm planning on getting done in this episode, I may split this into two episodes, but I will probably do it in a more informal way, so there may not be like an outro intro at the beginning if I, if I end up cutting, just cutting this episode in half. We'll see. I don't know. I never, uh, I'm never able to totally plan these things out in advance. Um, okay, so what do we got going on here? Uh, Edgewater, the big thing I want to do here is kind of connect up the, all of these ring road type things. Um, so we got to be a little bit careful because we are playing on hard mode uh, and we only have a hundred thousand, but let's just, uh, let's just keep it simple. Um, keep it simple and we'll, we will kind of link up this rail. There we go. And what else can we do here? Um, I, I'm a little bit reluctant to do the highway because I feel like we're going to run out of money, but let's just get a sense of how much it will cost to do it. Is this elevated or no, this is ground highway. Good. Cheaper. Yeah, we can afford it. Let's just do it. Uh, I can make this work. I can make this work. I just have to be very careful not to 
don't do that. I have to be very careful not to overspend here. Come on now. There you go. Uh, right. Uh, I need ramps. Let's just uh, put the one ramp in here. Uh, yep. Those are expensive too. You got to be really careful when you're uh, when you're poor. Um, I want to put some agriculture in the city because there's like no agriculture in the whole region. Uh, what do I want? I want this guy. I'm gonna be very careful with money here, though. We are going to run out. Uh, I don't think I connected up the. I think I have to go back to um, Inner Bay there and grab the uh, L train because that's part of what I want to link up here, but maybe we'll do that after. Um, I'm going to hold off on any other ramps for now because it's going to cost me too much money. Uh, what I will do, however, is... Uh, can I... Please, please... What I want to do is plan out some farms here. It's going to be a heavily agricultural region. Oh! Interesting. Hmm. Uh, I am reluctant to extend that because it's going to be too expensive. The, uh, the other thing to keep in mind is farms are expensive, like 16, 21,000. Um, let's try and fill this region out with farms, but I don't think I should build any more than like this to start. It's going to be a very heavily agricultural area. 20... God, do I even have enough money for power plants and all that? Oof. Risky. 10,000. I can take a loan if I need to. But it, it tends to make the start of the game a little bit harder. Uh, let's... Uh, I'm going to move the clock forward just a, ta just a touch because I want to see the demand. There we go. Yeah, we got lots of demand for everything. Um, we're going to need a couple things here. Uh, what I need is one of those overpasses. And hopefully I can fit in a, yeah, I can. Fit in a, I might as well just do the bloody ramp. Um, yeah. Um, what can I do here? What I want is this guy, right? Yeah, okay. Ooh, man, I am going to run out of money. Yeah, I think we're going to be ending up taking a loan here. This needs to be a road. Okay. We don't need water right away. Uh, I wonder if we even have any ag. Oh, we do. Okay, good. Uh, I want to make this an avenue. I don't like these... Uh, do not like the... Well, let's just do this for now. Um, in fact, I'm so cheap at this point that I'm just going to do this. Oh, I think I'm getting a little steam overlay bullshit thing there. Do apologize for that. Uh, one of the weird things about SimCity 4, I don't know if you guys, you guys may have noticed this, uh, the, the, those of you who maybe record stuff using um, using OBS, which is the software I use to record these videos. Uh, one of the weird things about SimCity 4 is it does not seem to, uh, OBS has like a, a, a game, a gaming mode, like a gaming recording mode where, where it basically captures full screen applications. And this, for some reason, SimCity 4 doesn't seem to like to work with that. Um, so what I do is I, I just do a, 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 a full, like I just capture the entire screen and that's why if, if any, if there's any like interface overlay type shit going on, um, then, uh, then that's, you know, you see it basically. So if I have to alt tab out or something, uh, you know, uh, I haven't put any bus stops yet. I really should, but I'm just going to go low density. 
We'll start with low density and we'll focus on um, getting those farms up. Uh, farms are expensive, man. It takes a long time to zone out a whole large tile like this, but I am going to do it. I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to need some bus stops soon, but not quite yet. Um, what else do I need? I need to plug this into the power grid. I'm going to need fire. I feel like I'm doing the tutorial all over again, guys. Okay. This is a really weird no road network. We're just going to fill this in as we go along. Focus on putting, I'm going to put residential here because there's like industry here and I believe there's industry like here as well if I recall correctly. So yeah, um, am I missing anything vital? Let's turn turn this power plant way down so we don't go bankrupt. And we're just going to make a little bit of money here. Let those farms develop. Normally I like to leave little hedgerows between the farms, but uh, I'm not in the mood. <laughs> To, to like micromanage farm planning. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to, I want it to build with uh, these two styles. Okay, are we making money? Yes. And we're not gonna have any power needs for a while, so I can develop fairly nonchalantly. We should probably spend every cent we have on roads and residential zones. Uh, I want to, Want one of these? Nope, it's not gonna fit. I need to delete this. Yeah, I, I've got a lot of plans for uh, the next city. I want to do lots of neat stuff with like rail tunnels and trenches, and and uh, maybe get into some more highway type stuff as well. And yeah, just generally, generally do a little bit more uh, elaborate transportation than I did in this city. Uh, I've gotten a real feel for for making these videos at this point, so uh, let's just wait till we've got 5,000. So yeah, I can be a little bit more decorative with how I do things. Um, yeah, this one will do like this, two, three, yeah, okay. This is a good trick, by the way, if you do want to build avenues at the beginning of the game, but you want to save on cash, just, just kind of plot them out. Seven. Uh, no, let's just go here. Okay, and what a mess. Ooh. I'm just gonna leave that like that for now. Should probably put a road there. How much money have I got? Uh, enough. Enough. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about that subway connection. I do have to do it for sure. Yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll just, I'll, maybe I will do the one-way roads on either side of the, the L train connection. I think I like that idea. Uh, and I also have to figure out where I'm going to hook it up into the neighboring city. Oh, we're out of money. <laughs> A little bit concerned that we're gonna get a fire because I, there's no obviously no fire station in this city. But let's fill this out. Ah, uh, that house is actually below that ramp. <laughs> Oops. Uh, let's see here. Should probably put some commercial at some point, but I want to get those farms to develop. We, to get the farms to develop, we need, and this is kind of an interesting thing to do, um, working on a, an agricultural city um, when you have already developed a lot of stuff in the region. Uh, if you want to have farms in a city, you need to not de develop anything but like low wealth residential and farms, basically. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Mm. Oh, I see what I'm going to have to do here. Okay. Uh, let's, this needs to be changed, this configuration. I'm just trying to get as much residential as I can. And, no, I want streets. Ooh, what I need is, there we go. 
go. Yeah, it's been a while. It's really nice to get back into this game. Uh, I was, I do miss playing it, for sure. Do miss playing it. It was not my intention to uh, be away for so long. Okay, how much money am I making? I need to be making lots, because I need lots for farms. Maybe... I have a feeling we're gonna need some transportation stuff. Let's just put like one row of farms. Like, he oh god, what a mess, what an ugly mess. Okay, we're gonna have to do this manually. Oh, we're running out of power because I left it. I didn't uh, increase the funding. Let's just go to 50% at this point. We're making lots of money. Playing on speed three without pausing. Getting that money up quickly. Look at these huge farms. I wonder what's going on there. I guess we have a lot of demand. We have like maxed out demand for farms, so we get these giant farms. Uh, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's a little bit weird. Um, we also have. Oh, we're almost out of. No, we're not out of demand yet. No. Okay. Um, now I want to. If, in order to extend this farming zone, I'm going to extend this kind of regional road here. And I kind of wanted to follow the terrain here and sort of go down diagonally. And then we'll just sort of connect this out here Might as well. Okay, and then we'll build farms along this. It's going to be a hassle to build farms on the diagonal, but we'll do it. It'll be okay. Maybe we can get the uh, county fair. Do we even have a county fair in any city? Oh wait, you know what? I want to do this. Okay, so we need to save up like 20,000. Maybe I'll zone a bit more residential. Let's see what our profit is here. Yeah, probably use up some of that residential demand. I'm just going to kind of... Ah, oh, there needs to be a, another overpass there. Uh, this should be a road. Okay, and then we'll put an overpass here. stops at some points. Let's put another ramp here. It's kind of cool to build a city quickly like this. I've been I've been going a lot slower. I just there's so much I want to get done before I before I stop making this series. So um, this can actually be just a street for now. I left a little gap there, that's fine. Okay. Um, not sure what's going to happen over there. So that's all hooked up as it should be. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that road network, but I'll just keep it as it is for now. Let's do this. Uh oh, I see what happened there. Okay, well, that's not a big deal. We're going to zone this anyway. Oh, there's a little lagoon here. Uh, we need to raise the terrain. Okay, it's fine. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be uh, really cool. There's lots of stuff. I'm also going to be playing like New City that uh, some of you guys have seen that, uh, the series I have going on New City. I did a few episodes of that and then and then I got into this Hearts of Iron thing. Um, but uh, I'm going to be playing more of that as well. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. And yeah, I've got really some cool ideas about what I want to do in my next uh, SimCity. Oh god, I'm out of money. Uh, I'm out of money and I didn't connect it to the... Oh god, uh, I didn't connect it to the power grid. Can I get it connected with $23? Ooh-hoo-hoo! -hoo. 
Can I do this? No. Okay. I, uh, I, I, went, I pushed, I went too far. I went too far. Let's uh, take a loan. <laughs> I need, I need to take a loan for like a hundred dollars, but I'm going to have to take 5,000 simoleons because that's the lowest loan they let you take in this game. Okay. Uh, might as well spend it. Get this uh, jump start this, this year development. There we go. Oop. And like this. And we'll put a couple of side streets in here. Uh, probably one of those. Well, I don't think we need another. Well, uh, I'll make this make this a ramp at some point. And then this one will just be a street. Okay. All right, good. That will give us lots of money. Oh, farmer's market. Let's put it at this, at this intersection. Ooh, I don't have enough money for a farmer's market. Let's, uh, let's hold off on that. Okay, two grand a month. Yeah, agricultural demands uh, goes. There's no way to raise the cap, and it just it just goes down uh, as you develop the city with uh, non-residential stuff. So the more jobs there are in a city, the more the more um, the less they want farms, and it never comes back. So what I want to do is just get the maximum size here. Twenty. Boom. Oh god! I almost thought the game was gonna crash for a second there. These farms are huge. It's really weird. Uh, usually, usually when you start your game, you're at a lower, um, you're at a lower, uh, what is it called? Um, you're at a, at a lower like development stage, growth stage, uh, and so you don't get those these huge farms. You get all these little tiny farms. But now we're at like the maximum. I think growth stage three is the max for. Um, for um, at this point, uh, for, for for farms, so yeah, it's uh, it, it, they develop these these huge farms, which is a little bit silly. Uh, I'm gonna put bus stops in uh, because I'm gonna upzone this. Bit of a quick and dirty city here. I'm not paying too too much attention, but yeah, you know. Uh, this road needs to be extended. There we are. Where have I missed? One here, 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 and here, and here. There. I don't know if I already put one there. Maybe. Okay. That's good. So we got our buses in. Let's up zone this. God, we didn't zone much dense in the whole region, did we? Now we'll be making big money. going on here? Why am I getting abandonment? I'm not. It's uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, there's just uh, there's like me uh, middle class medium wealth sims uh, coming into the city and then leaving because there's no middle class jobs here. Okay. Uh, let's throw in some more farms. Oh, we need to get to 20,000 first. I'm going to zone this area first because it's going to be easier to zone. Actually, there we go, like that, and like that. 
perfect. And that needs power. Oh, like this, just snip these up the straight line. Yeah, so um, I th I'll, I'll be interested to see. I'll be interested to see uh, what we're able to do in terms of fixing up Plantation Base City. Uh, seeing if we can fix some of the, the, the demands going on. There was a. Oh, I don't have any water. That's why this isn't developing. Jesus. Uh, we do need water. We're going to need a water plant like this. Put it there. And we will. Like this. All right, quick and dirty water network. That'll help the income go up. It's kind of interesting when you do build agricultural cities because they 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 do actually make a fair amount of money, uh, even when and you don't really need to offer any services to get them to build. Um, they they can make a modest amount of money. They just don't. Uh, you just can't build cities above a certain size with uh, farms. So uh, okay, I want to pause. I want to pause because I want to make this a little bit nicer. Oh, we have no garbage dump, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I'm going to zone this like this. Okay. Oh, I'm out of money. Eh, that's okay, I'll fix it after. Gonna be a little bit weird skinny farms there, that's fine. Maybe I will put a dump here, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Put a dump back here. Now I just need to fill in this awkward space here. triangular farm there. Let's do two kind of mid-sized farms here. Very small farms actually, really. Ooh, my game is actually lagging a bit. Probably because I'm just doing stuff really fast. There's uh, there's no real way to get this game to run like super fast. Um, you can you can put in the, the launch options like the CPU count and stuff. Uh, that helps for sure. Uh, but it, there is just kind of a hard limit as to how, how fast this game will run because it's just not optimized for modern systems, so... It's a thing! I mean, nobody, you know, no modern computer should have trouble running this. Um, there we go. I think that's enough farms for this region. Well, I just want to make sure that we get the... Um, I want to make sure that we have enough farm population to get the the cool. Um, yeah, this is kind of ridiculous. They're all they all have the exact same building. I don't know what is going on there. 
I guess we're just at the maximum growth stage, so... Yep, okay. Uh, wow. Holy shit. That's insane, look at all these, uh, look at all this row housing. No education. Nothing. Yeah, uh, this is kind of it's kind of a cool way to build cities to to put the farms in first like this because well one of the things is that it it does give you a fair amount of money and you can actually avoid having to deal with the dirty industry uh, because you can see that we're actually going to be making enough money here to pay for a full fledged education system so it's kind of a neat trick uh, I I quite like it anyway uh, let's go with. Uh, a couple of ramps here. Uh, it's this one that I want. Thank you. We're all good. I don't need one here. That's fine. Let's uh, get rid of some of these excess roads here. There we go. This guy as well. And I'll put in bus stops. I think this is going to be two episodes. I think it's going to be two episodes. I know I said that this would be the last episode here, but uh, I, I I can feel it. I can feel it. There's going to be two episodes before I'm I'm uh, willing to abandon abandon this city. I'm not abandoning it. I'm mean, probably come back to it at some point. But uh, like I said, it's going to take some work. So I think this is going to be the second last episode. I think so. Because I, I, I'm, I'm feeling it right now. I think this whole episode is just going to be me screwing around on Edgewater, and then next episode is going to be me fixing Plantation Base City. So there you go. But I hope you guys think that's reasonable. Um, like I said, it really is. It really does come down to. Uh, me just, uh, w you know, wanting to get to change my mod setup, and especially just getting that uh, network out on mod. Okay, I want. I've got the farmers markets. Uh, what I want to get is the county fair. To get the county fair, I need. There's a, cer a certain number of jobs. Where is it? Where's my county fair? Is it like not here? There it is, State Fair. State Fair is called, not County Fair, State Fair. City size 3,500, thir 3, mayor rating 48, it's probably the mayor rating. Farm population 1,200. Farm population we can see in the, whoops, not that one. Uh, jobs and pop. Oh, how much do I need? 1,200. We definitely have 1,200, so we just need the city rating. Okay. Uh, to get the city rating, I'm going to start by placing some fire stations. Uh, maybe we'll do one of these central guys here. Okay, that's fine. And then, you know, let's do education next. Do a couple of large schools. Yeah, I'm going to be using the radius doubler in my next uh, in my next series as well. Uh, I think I mentioned that before. Uh, I think it's just it's just better. It's just it's just better. It's more realistic. It's it's more interesting. Okay, there we go. And uh, one of these gigantic hospitals. Uh, might be modern hospital. Oh, let's do let's build one of these really huge suburban style ones. Oh, maybe not. Well, you know what? Why not? Boom. Okay, that's probably going to eat up all of our budget. I'll have to make the adjustments. Yep. Yep. Okay, let's go. I should now immediately get the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can fix my budget very easily by just lowering the funding to the... Whoa. 
ambulance funding can come down and the local funding can go down as well. Number of patients, there we go. Okay, perfect. And yeah, everything else looks fine. I want, why can't I have the state fair? Mayor rating 48. The mayor rating should get better soon. Oh, uh, that's why, because the because uh, they're on strike. Okay, let's grab the U, and yeah, you need more cash. Okay, and then where's the other one? There it is. You need more cash. Okay. Any more red things here? Okay, no. Uh, that should do it. Oh, we're out of residential demand. Neat. Uh, that should do it. I need. Does it need to be any higher than that? What is my mayor rating? Where is mayor rating? I never look at that. Uh, we should be able to get it at this point. Okay, let's place the farmer's market. I'll put it at the corner here. We had a farmer's market in Plantation Bay. I distinctly remember that and put a church beside it. And the, and the mayor's house. Everything in one little area here. There we go. And then, um... City Hall, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I want the, I want the state fair. Where is it? Why don't I have a state fair yet? City, fi city size, farm population. Huh. Can there only be one in the state, and did I already place one? And I'll place those after. State fair! Sweet! I uh, love me a state fair. Do I put it down by the water? Yeah, let's do that. It's a bit weird to have it so far from town, but let's place it like down here and we'll put a bus stop at it. You can take the bus to the state fair. I think that's cool. Kind of a Coney Island type thing. If I were gonna expand this city, I would eat through all these farms and there would be, there would be development along the strip. In fact, I might do that. I might do that. God, the demand is just... When you get cities this big, there's just unlimited demand. Uh, getting lots of... Oh, yeah. Tourist trap. Well, I guess the tourist trap can be on the same road as the state fair. Oh, that's a resort hotel. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I'll put a bus stop on it, too. I think this is going to become a kind of a main artery. I'm really just improvising this time. Um, yeah, hospital is struggling. Local funding. God, there's already 75,000 people in this. City water full of filth. Do I have enough money to clean the water? Yes. I'm doing this kind of in a sloppy way. I would not normally be quite this nonchalant about how I build cities, but, you know. Uh, what I want to do is I want to place it, like, here. Might as well just snuff the problem at its source. Let's uh, let's put in some commercial zones. Well, hmm, might be a good idea to run over to Plantation Bay City and, and let some of the offices develop there. That's how I've been doing this thus far, so I think we will. I think we will. Oh, jeez. Okay. What? No, that's not, I can't. I can't live with that. Uh, this is what I need. There we go. Alt. There we go. Thank you. Um, 
there's two things I want to do. I want to go over to Plantation Base City, and I want to also go over to Inner Bay. I was hoping that the dirty industry demand would go down. Let's give these folks a high school first. Uh, power funding problem, indeed. That's easy to fix. Traffic jam on local avenue, yeah, that's uh, to be expected. I'm not going to worry about traffic right now. Okay, uh, let's give them a high school. Wait until the... Come on, just in you go. Boom. Um, just wait until their education ticks up a little bit. We'll give them a college and libraries and all that, all that happy shit too. Uh, libraries... Go. Yeah, I want bigger radiuses. This is this is like this is really silly. Um, there does not need to be a library every, you know, four blocks in a city, right? The radius doubler. That's what I need. Oh, and a college. Maybe a university. Do I have a university open? I think I do. Oh yeah, I do. Ooh, I don't have enough money. How much do I need? A lot, eh? Like 80,000? Almost there. We'll put it at the base of this hill, on this road here. There's only one university in the whole city, I think. I think it's in Plantation Bay. Man, it is taking a while to save up this money. I'm only making 2,000 per month, but like, that's pretty good money. Uh, trash, we have a trash problem. I'm just waiting for this. I just need my $82,000, then I'll go solve the trash problem, I promise. There we go, boom. Highway access. Well placed university. Uh, I need to solve the trash problem. If I got. Oh, I don't have enough money. Okay, let's start by putting down one of these guys. 25,000? Oh dear. Okay, well. Tell you what. Put that in as a stopgap for now. Unpleasantly large dump. How's the education level looking? It's pretty good. I should be seeing this go down soon. Nah, Inner Bay's probably got more uh, room for industrial expansion anyway. All right, let's go over to Inner Bay. Uh, the reason being, I want to I want to put the L train link in, and I got to figure out how that's going to fit into the city because I wanted to extend it over here. We'll see. We'll see if it's possible. Of course, we could have the L train end at the uh, the county fair here, and then develop along this road, kind of kind of Coney Island style. That could be really cool. Yeah, I have a feeling that's what we're gonna do. Uh, out we go to the region. Okay, so now we're up to almost eleven. Uh, one million, a hundred thousand. Probably hit that this episode. Did I ever fill all this, these zones out? Did I ever upzone this? Supposed to have. Yeah, there's a whole suburban area I never got to in the city, which is, uh, you know, it's a drag, but it happens. Uh, right, so before I forget my little mission here, I need to extend this L train. Uh, 
Oh, that's my phone ringing. I do apologize. I should remember to uh, turn that off when I'm making these videos. I just, it's one of those things. I don't know why. I never remember to turn my phone off. Uh, yeah, so let's run the clock a bit here. Just because, why not? Okay, uh, I didn't see any noticeable dip in demands. I think the industry in this town is pretty much full up. Yeah, there's basically no room for industrial development here. Man, this city looks nice. Fairly nice anyway. Yeah, okay. Let's go back over to Edgewater and finish this uh, rail extension. I also kind of want to take a look at the network map and take a look at... Uh, where I think this line is going. Because the thing is, I'm not entirely convinced we need to extend the line westward. Like, hmm, could be kind of nice to have this all connected up to a line. Yeah. Hmm. On the other hand, it could just sort of end there. Thing is, if it goes over here, it doesn't really connect up to Plantation Bay City unless I loop it around and have like a subway tunnel or something go through that, and that feels like a little silly to me. It feels like um, like it's kind of gratuitous. Huh. Let's do it. All right, uh, we're going back to Edgewater. We are going to veer this line that way. Veer that line that way. It's going to cut right through our residential area here, but that's okay. If I need to go subway, I'll go subway. No parks in the city yet, but you know me, forgetting to develop parks is my thing. All right, let's fix this mess. Ooh, fire station in the way. Red alert. Um, I'll just make this a little roundabout type thing. Not a roundabout, a, uh, I, I don't know what you call that. A little U-shaped road there. Um, let's put the fire station back. Do I, am I going to run out of money? No, okay. Central Fire Station. Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. Okay. Uh, now we'll put in our L train stations along this little row here. Elevated rail bus. Yeah, we'll just put one here. And I guess we're not going to be able to fit too much more than that. Alright. Oh. Oh, God. I hit the scroll wheel on my mouse. Okay, this is going to go here instead. It's too close. There we go. Okay. Oh, I never put a rail station. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the, the trick is going to be to put... Sure, Beach finally gets the subway, or the elevated rail train, as it were. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's see here. That station location sort of makes sense. Sort of. What is going on here? Oh, it's not liking that. It is not liking that at all. God. Okay, I I'm gonna do a level crossing for now. I'm just not. Uh, what I need to do is basically either a subway or this kind of level crossing. I could maybe squeeze in a road tunnel there, or even put a rail viaduct. <coughs> That's what would make sense. But I'm I'm. Not too interested in spending the time to do it at this moment. Uh, is this connected up? I, that doesn't look connected to me. 
did say it was connected. Let's just do it again to the extra certain. Yeah, okay. I just want to see that little green arrow. That's what I was looking for. Oh, we're going to have the same problem here. Am I running out of money? Yep. Uh, where is it? I want my L train station. Rail, bus, and subway. There we go. Mm-hmm. As I suspected. It, it doesn't like that. It's too close. Uh, this bus station is now a bit redundant. Probably one over here too, yeah. Okay. I guess we have to connect up to Ventura Beach now. Yeah, it's a little bit redundant with the highway, but I don't hate it. Uh, what I'd like to do is put in some commercial, but I want to go to Plantation Bay City first. Do we go to Ventura Beach and figure out the all train extension? Budget deficit? What nonsense. I don't have a budget deficit. Interesting, I'm still getting at that traffic warning on the avenue. What is that? It's the... Oh, the there's hardly any traffic in this city. God, they'll complain about anything, won't they? Not a very well used uh, transit thingy. But we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I'm, I am kind of curious to see how we can hook Ventura Beach up to this transit network. Let's go over and do that now. So much commercial demand. Um, let's save. Go over to Ventura Beach, hook this up, and then we're going to go to Plantation Bay City and see if I can suck up some of this, um, some of the commercial demand in Plantation Bay City. I've also got this space here to develop, but that's probably just going to have to wait. Let's take a look. That's kind of cool. See, I would have liked to have done this kind of all around the edges. We won't be able to do it. We wouldn't be able to do it here because this would have to be suburban, essentially, because you, like I said, you can't get any new farm zones when when you get the city past a certain size. I would have developed this as farms and and ideally that as well. It would have been, it would have been neat to kind of do the farms first, actually. Um, all right, let's go to Ventura Beach. Look at the transit map first. Yeah, I would I would angle this north there and connect it up to the main city. Ooh, ooh, no jobs. What's going on? Sure, Beach, you are in rough shape. Yeah, we got so much. Uh, demand. Uh, maybe I can get some more industry in here. Oop. Oh, there's still a little pile of garbage there. Hilarious. Well, there's going to be a bit of garbage near this industry. Have I got cash? Yeah, I got tons of cash. Okay. Just make sure that's connected up to the water network. Go. Okay, and I'll throw down some buses. Maybe put some parks in so we get the. Buses are good there. Okay. I realize those are very small blocks. Not the end of the world. Oh, don't do that. We're still waiting for that trash to disappear. Sort of sprinkle some parks in there to get some maybe maybe a little bit of high tech. 
developing. Now, let's deal with this guy. Oh, it's interesting. So because what I want to do is have it kind of veer up, cut across the city and veer up and go to Plantation Bay City. Now what I'd like to do though is where's the train station here? It's all the way over here. What would make sense would be to run this along here and have it turn into a subway station at the rail connection. It's a weird rail connection too. It doesn't really go anywhere down here, does it? I think this is a freight rail down there that I didn't end up using. Hmm. A smart place for the station is there too. Hmm. Well, 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 well. Okay, uh, let's start by laying down the track and seeing if this is possible. Yep, that's good. Love it. Okay, I'm going to go all the way over here and I'm going to go to Subway. I think it makes sense to do it that way. Managed to avoid demolishing too, too much. I want my divey Subway guy. Yeah, guys, this is going to be two episodes, so I do apologize for the whole thing, but I, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to give up on the city yet. I'm not giving up on it. I'm moving on. Uh, but yeah. Oh, one of these guys again. It's probably not going to work. I knew it. It is a little bit unfortunate to have to redo these to, to fix that or whatever later, but not the end of the world. Uh, let's put one here as well. I'm going to be working on some strategies for uh, the sort of dual, dual layer network, dual level network with the rail and the... Uh, the road in, in the next city that we start. Um, okay, that's perfect. Uh, what I'd like to do is throw down uh, a subway station here. Right beside the, the train station. Okay, and we're going to do a subway connection to Plantation Base City. Oh, um, no, this is dumb. Uh, we are going to put it along this road and actually put stops along it. That's what makes sense. There we go. Um, there should be a station maybe here somewhere, eh? Uh, there. Perfect. Okay. There we go. So, that's done. Let's see, let's just let this, uh, industry develop. Give some, that'll be good for, um, for the folks over in Edgewater, give them some jobs. I wanted to see was the this one. Yeah, there's not going to be much traffic on that line. I next city, I'm going to really focus on uh, on trying to develop the city in a way that encourages like, you know, heavy heavy use of transit infrastructure. It's a little bit tricky. The ultra capacity roads, while they make travel more realistic, they tend to make it a little bit harder to get Sims to ride the train. Or ride the uh, the subway anyway. 
because the thing is I've, I've configured it in a way that makes sims want to use buses right to make that makes we make sims want to use transit in general but uh not in a way that's not in a way that makes them like the, because the like buses are basically fast enough that there's hardly ever any need for the heavier transit so something is not connected here i think um Something is not connected here. Would have been nice to have a a subway connection to the beach. I would put a spur out here maybe, but I think I'm going to uh, leave it. What I will do is just try and fix this. It looks all connected to me. Uh, I don't like this. Uh, yeah, it's probably, it might be this little deal again here. Just make sure that this is good and well connected. Okay. Okay. Wow, that um, developed reasonably well. Except that it's not liking the... Uh, There we go. A little bit more industry anyway. Might be missing fire or something. Right. <coughs> All right, so we're going to head back over to Edgewater. Just so we can have one la last look at it. And then I'm going to end this episode, and I am going to do another episode. So I, I suggest this will be the last episode, but I, I just, I not, I'm not comfortable ending it here. But I do want to kind of finish with... Uh, Edgewater. Uh, let's go to Plantation Bay City, see if we can absorb some of that commercial demands, and then go back to Edgewater, and then I'll end the episode. There we go. All right, so, yep. Yep. Yeah, getting some of those more modern towers up. Yeah, I'm going to be getting rid of all sorts of uh, residential zones in this area. I'm very curious to see what happens when I actually do that. Alright, that's pretty much, that's good. we got a few more towers. Yeah, we'll look at some of those abandoned hotspots next episode. Uh, abandoned hotspots. Abandoned, yeah, abandonment hotspots, if you will. Uh, and sort of get rid of a bunch of them. Uh, replace them with commercial and uh, yeah, commercial zones. Probably also, yeah, like a lot of this stuff up here too can probably just be gotten rid of. Um, interesting. And then I can fill out a lot of this stuff with commercial. So yeah, one more episode. Let's go back over to Edgewater, and I just want to lay down the commercial zones in Ed Edgewater. I'm saving twice. Absolute silliness. All right. Uh, commercial zone here for sure. Along this busy road. Busy road. And I'll build one over there by that avenue. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, hotkeys. Use them hotkeys. Man, as much as I get tired of hearing the soundtrack sometimes, I gotta say, this game, uh, these old Sim SimCity games have really good soundtracks. Uh, SimCity 3000s has like a Miles Davis soundtrack or something, and if I play it, uh, if I do a series of it, I'm gonna have to turn the music off because I, it will get copyright flagged. I don't think it's Miles Davis. There, there are a couple Miles, da Miles Davis tracks, I think, in, in the soundtrack, but I think it's... I mean, it's not his version, his, his performances. I think it's, um, I think it's another band. I can't remember the name of the band, but it's got like a jazz trio playing, and it's just fantastic. Um, okay. Right. And there we go. Nice commercial zones in there. Probably would make sense to do like a commercial strip along the highway as well. One, two, three. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Low density mallscape. Something you see in small towns in North America is these, like, rather than having like a main, a thriving main street, they've just got this like mall space on the ex on the edge of the town. I find that particularly hateful, but <laughs> you know, it is part of modern life, I guess. What's wrong with the water system? Hmm? Come on, we've got more than enough here. He's being shut off or something? Yes. That yeah, should work. Some of the university campus doesn't have water. Yeah. Pretty big, uh, pretty big. Like this, this develops so quickly. It gets, it gets so easy to develop these cities quickly. I only had to take one loan. I had only, only had to take one loan to, to build this all in one episode. So there we go, folks. Um, this, I w obviously, I would, if I were gonna spend a lot more time in the city, I would make this nicer. I would sort of fix things up a bit and maybe reroute that highway and make it a little bit less boxy and stuff like that. Uh, but I will be spending lots of time um, on whatever new city we start doing that kind of thing. This could be a really cool kind of park, I think. This would be a sort of good state park, this hill here. But yeah, we finally got a little bit of agriculture. We got in the state fair. And yeah, next episode, I, I really I really must insist, next episode will be the, uh, the last the last episode of this and I will spend it almost entirely in in plantation based city uh, and we I will try and fix get rid of a lot of that residential zoning and see if we can potentially fix the uh, that city up a bit maybe it'll just be a purely commercial city but yeah so thanks for watching I'll be back soon ciao